Well guys, it's about uh, 21 degrees this morning. If you can see that. We got a ton of snow last night, so this is like a, a deer hunter's Christmas. I think any deer hunter would tell you they'd love to hunt in the snow. Um, Casey and uh, Eric are on another side of where we're hunting and I'm gonna go solo on this side. Oh my God, check this out. Holy crap, that's a fox. You see that fox? What? That was super crazy. Just came running right down the road. Anyways, um, I think the real reason they didn't come over here is uh, the roads are kind of nasty. and I don't know that Eric's truck would make it, but that's kind of what happens when you have a Chevy. So, the old Toyota, though trucks right along through the snow um, hoping it's gonna be a good day we may not be able to see for parts of the day based on the clouds and the fog rolling in but if we can get any kind of breaks whatsoever there's a really good chance the deer are gonna be moving around with as cold as it is the snow snow being here uh, and it's supposed to continue to snow for a couple days those deer should be moving and feeding and just trying to, to stay warm and if we have any luck Hopefully those big bucks will start rutting and moving around. They've just been hung up in the timber for this entire trip, so they're really, really hard to find. But All right, guys. Here we are again. We are uh, coming. Look at this. Going that way. Same way we're going. It's good. Well, look at all the snow we got. This is good, man. We've been hoping for a morning like this. It's a little foggy, but uh, we can see, so... What we're doing is we uh, trying to hunt that big buck again. We sent Brian back to where we uh, spotted him first, where he shot at him. Me and Eric are coming up to some rocks that kind of sit on the backside of the ridge where we think that buck went. So we're kind of surrounding him so we can try to get some eyes on him today. We're thinking he's still in here. We just got to get a better angle at him. So that's what we're doing. Hopefully they'll be moving today with all this new snow and this cold. But uh, Eric's going to go to his rock. I'm going to go to my rock. Hopefully one of us finds the buck. Time to find the big boys when it snows like this. They, uh, they'll they come out of the timber. They're a lot easier to see, too. Let's go get them. I'm just getting down to my rock. It's so foggy, the visibility is uh, super low. But I'm glad I came down here. It seems just low enough to kind of get out of the fog. You can see. I'll be sitting on that rock, glass and all that. I just jumped a bunch of deer. Fresh tracks in the snow, and sure enough I bumped them. They went across this pine tree hillside, so I might try to pick them out. A bunch of does, for sure. Never did see a buck, but all I really saw was their bodies running through the trees. This was a good spot for me last year. I never did see a shooter buck, but um, it gave me a good angle on this hill and uh, so hopefully today I can find a shooter in here All right guys um, Haven't been here very long, but man, it's already been awesome. I've already got nine does and a really cool big three-point real nice big mainframe um, Man, I, I wish Casey and Eric were here Casey likes these kind of deer oftentimes he, he might be inclined to want to go shoot that buck. Just a sweet looking buck. Um, but anyway, so far so good. Lots of action. A lot easier to see in this snow conditions. We're going to keep glassing and see what else we can come up with. Guys, we just, I just got to my rock. I've been glassing for like 20 minutes and I just found the biggest, I'd say top two biggest deer I've ever seen in my life. He is a giant and he's over there on Brian's side. Check this guy out. <laughs> he makes that one Brian shot out look small. I don't think, I can't think of a deer bigger than that that I've seen. Maybe a couple, I don't know. Holy cow! Just found two slammers, one absolute giant. And uh, he's running around this, uh, this other. There's three bucks. A giant four point with a cheater, a big, big four point with deep forks, kind of narrow, and then a smaller four point. 
They're just all running around over there. Lucky for Brian, me and Casey spotted this buck and Brian's closer to him, so we're having him go down the ridge to try to get a shot off on him. We might be able to put a big, big, big buck down here pretty quick. This is gonna be uh, fun to watch. It's so far away, me and Casey just don't have a chance to get over there, but from up here we can see a lot of country, so if we get one buck down, that's a plus. The morning so far has been pretty much exactly what we all expected. Casey just texted me, I said, hey dude, I found an absolute tank. You need to get down there and see if you can get on him. So I gotta go to the bottom of this canyon. It's gonna be a miserable hike out of here, one way or another. Let's see if I can get down there in time to find him. I guess he's out on an open face with some does. But uh, lots of deer, lots of new deer that we haven't seen before either. This might be some of the raddest mule deer footage I have ever got. These three bucks are chasing each other around and it's so cool to see the pecking order. There's a good sized buck, a great buck, and then the giant buck and they know it man. The little buck's running from both of them and the middle sized buck is running from the big one and the big one's pushing them all. <laughs> so rad. Oh. Dude, I wanna kill a big deer but sometimes just experiencing this is all I need, man. I love this. I love watching animals. It's crazy. I would love to kill that deer, but I've got a lot of video of him. I hope Brian gets him. He's, Brian's headed down. I'm going to guide him into him, hopefully. Dang it. Sadly enough, another hunter beat Brian to those bucks. But it was weird. He shot um, the, out of the three, he saw the, shot the uh, second biggest. And uh, the buck dropped and uh, he kept firing. I think he was honestly shooting at the bigger buck, uh, trying to kill two bucks. I don't know what the heck, that was pretty weird because the buck he shot went down and the bigger buck was right behind him and the guy kept shooting when the buck was down. So it just doesn't make sense. <sighs> pretty random, I'm gonna keep, uh, keep an eye on everything. Maybe the guy doesn't think that he shot that deer and he thought he was shotting at the same buck. I honestly, I don't know. I'm gonna sit here and uh, watch him, see what he does, see if he goes down to get that buck or not. Pretty amazing to see two big bucks like that, or three nice bucks, two giants. The one he shot, I'm almost positive, is the deer that Brian shot and missed. Crazy morning, perfect uh, conditions. Just not the right spot at the right time today. Dang it. It's a good glassing point, but uh, nothing really came in within my shooting distance anyways. The phone's dead. It was fully charged. Must be too cold. Well, that's public land for you. <laughs> We're sending Brian down. He was getting close to getting where he could see him. And uh, hunters, we saw hunters running down the ridge. And they shot, not the biggest buck, they shot the middle buck, which is still a giant buck. I watched it all through my spotting, spotting scope. Shot the medium buck. He went down. The big buck stood there for like 10 minutes, like 10 feet away from him. And uh, then they started shooting. I think they were shooting at him. They didn't hit him and he ran off, but the big buck's still over there. But man, Brian was right there to getting, uh, getting a shot. I'm shaking. I'm so like, nervous and excited, but that's public land. They worked harder than us and they got the buck. Bummer. It's a bummer. Congrats to that hunter though, man. That's a good buck. I want to see that thing. Well, that was awesome basically sprinted to the bottom of this canyon. Another hunter was uh, over on that other ridge and dropped in and shot one of those three bucks. Didn't shoot the biggest one, shot another one though. Um, so the frustrations of public land hunting are real. Anyways, I don't know, moving on to plan B. Nothing you can do but keep on trying and keep on hunting. So, I'm gonna head back over to our main canyon and see what we can turn up over there. Well, you wanna talk about complete and utter frustration. That's what we're going through right now. We just confirmed that that buck that Hunter shot was the buck that Brian missed the other day and we've been chasing. So we came up here to find that buck 
and there, I was on this spot and Eric was over here on his rock and we both found him and uh, but there was a bigger buck in there so we did what we set out to do Brian could have got down there five minutes faster he could have killed that bigger buck or the buck he missed but guys beat us to the punch so really a backbreaker <laughs> easy to lose complete motivation after something like that happens but we know there is a bigger buck in here we just don't know how we're going to get on him now what do you think he I don't know you know, all we can do is just keep glassing and try to turn up that bigger buck maybe tonight or tomorrow or the next day but Casey said it best that's a motivation killer and I love I'll get him out of it. We're both like, oh, I just want to go back to the hotel, take a nap, forget about this for a while. But I don't know what's going to happen. It's definitely a good day to be out looking for deer. We might just go to a completely different area, I don't know. There's so many people over here. And what do you do? Keep at it. Try to keep, stay motivated and positive. Keep doing what we're doing. We're finding big deer, so. Well, I finally got out of that gnarly hole I was in this morning. Long hike out of there in the snow. I'm gonna go ahead back to the hotel and meet up with Casey and Eric and regroup and come up with a plan for the afternoon. A lot of a lot of deer in the canyon. Pretty close call to getting a shot on one of those big bucks, but it's got beat to the punch. <sighs> At least it's super pretty out today. Looking forward to uh, making something happen. I feel like we're so close. Just haven't quite made it. Do what we need to do yet, but it's going to be here soon. I can feel it. We're working too hard not to make this hunt come full circle and get us a couple mule deer.